campus. Mm -hmm. Today we will talk with a PhD researcher, uh, Ujjani Lakshman uh, from India. Yeah. yeah. And uh, his uh, study and uh, ocean study, uh, specialty biology. Yeah, biology. Biology yeah. and uh, microbiology. Uh, yeah, its specialization is the microbiology. Specialist microbiology. So, can you tell us about yourself? Yeah, uh, my name is Lakshman Pujari, as you said before, mm -hmm. and I'm from India. Uh, in India, I specialize uh, from the Mumbai. Mm -hmm. uh, I have studied uh, bachelor's and master's in India. Bachelor's, uh, I have a special degree. Mm -hmm. That's zoology plus oceanography and masters. Uh, I also have the same degree, but it's from the University of Mumbai. Mumbai, uh -huh. yeah. So, and uh, for the PhD, I right now I'm doing my PhD and I'm in last year of my PhD. Uh, for that, I choose the Tianjin University of Science and Technology. Uh, as you said before, uh, my all the subject. All the bachelor's and master subjects mm -hmm. are related to the oceans, and my PhD is also related with the oceans. Yeah, and uh, we are wanted to hear about scientific sphere, scientific directions, what you do, how you do, and uh, your interest is scientific about your scientific sphere. Yeah, uh, I know many people uh, have no law no knowledge about the ocean yeah. uh, it's kind of rare field uh, as well as in india and in china too because not many people know about ocean how it behaves what it actually is if you see the ocean it's uh, almost 70 percent of the world's mass is covered by the ocean mm -hmm. just 30 percent is left by the land and the 70 percent is huge number and but still neglected subject so if you see about the ocean, there are many different ways in the ocean studies. There are physical oceanography, there is biological oceanography, there is a chemical oceanography, and many subjects, many directions have many specializations. But right from the beginning, uh, I choose the biology, mm -hmm. like the uh, biology as the zoology, the botany, and in that also I got a very specialized, that's botany. And in that now I'm working on the algae that is called as the phytoplankton, mm -hmm. the trees in the ocean, like how we have the trees on the earth, on the planet, the same kind of trees we have in the ocean. Yeah. And uh, those trees, uh, right now we are facing the global warming and uh, global warming is because of the carbon content increase in the atmosphere when the carbon content increase in the atmosphere the ocean become more acidic acidic yeah when ocean become more acidic uh, of course there are plants there are biology is going to affect there is a chemistry going to affect and finally this will all together will impact onto human lives so i'm working on how the carbon concentration or the carbon content of the world is affecting the phytoplanktons, how their DNA is going to change, how their, after DNA gets changed, there are many different cycles in the uh, physiology of the phytoplankton mm -hmm. also changes. So I'm working specialized uh, on the DNA change and the RNA change of the phytoplankton. Yeah, yeah, very, very interesting square and uh... I talk with a lot of us, uh, foreign uh, scientists from America, from Europe, and that this specialty is very actual to these yes. times. And uh, and around the world, it's uh, studying this sphere. It's uh, global warming, yes. uh, uh, ocean acidation uh, upgrading. It's uh, very important, and uh, we need to study more. Uh, to keep our planet uh, more clearly and more suitable for yes. life, not only for human life and uh, for plants, for fish, for microorganisms, for yes. uh, everything in the earth. And uh, yeah, it's very interesting sphere. And uh, uh, we see you are love and you are like <laughs> your specialty. It's very interesting. Thank you. And. Uh, why 
and uh, how you came to the Tianjin University of Science and Technology. Okay, that's kind of an uh, interesting story yeah. behind this. <laughs> Uh, so as I told you, I was work. I was I have finished my masters in the University of Mumbai. So after finishing the masters, there was a question of doing the PhD in the India or mm -hmm. doing it in the outside of the India. I was in the kind of uh, confused mind where to go exactly. Should I go with the Indian universities? Oh, of course, there are very yeah. good universities in India yeah, too, yeah, yeah, yeah. but. Uh, if I want to get a broad experience, the vast experience, I must explore other universities outside the India. So this question was continuously ticking in my mind. Finally, I took a decision that, okay, I will go outside the uh, India. But for that, first step was to find a good job, which is a scientific research related mm -hmm. uh, in India. So I choose one of the best uh, institute, that's a uh, national institute. Uh, you can do PhD in that institute as well, but uh, that I choose to work as a project assistant, mm -hmm. as a research scholar. Yeah. So I joined that institute to work on the different projects. Uh, I was work okay. I I'm a certified scuba diver. Mm -hmm. I used to work in uh, uh, in India as a scuba diver. We used to dive every week. Uh, in the in the coral reefs, we used to check how. E okay, even I was working in India uh, for the uh, the ocean acidification on the corals. If you were amazed to know that uh, there was ocean acidification event, and many corals died, and we used to do the survey and all. So during this process of one year, uh, I learned many many new things about the ocean. And started to analyze which university is good for our future research. Mm -hmm. And uh, while doing this procedure, I used to find the professors as well. I got many opportunities for the for to apply to different uh, fellowships like Commonwealth Fellowship and uh, China Council Fellowship China CSE Fellowship of China. Mm -hmm. I was exploring the options. I was continuously in talk with the different professors, but I got more appealed with the professor of my here. He is a Junsun professor, Dr. Junsun, mm -hmm. and uh, he has uh, around 3,000 citations in the research kit, and he's kind of young and dynamic professor, very kind. So I contacted him that I want to apply under you for my uh, PhD under the CSE Council. Uh, he said me, okay, you can apply and uh, I gone in the India, I gone for the interview of the uh, uh, in the Delhi for the China Council's China Scholarship Council mm -hmm. and uh, us, Because of some somehow I got uh, rejected or something happened. Uh, I, I was not selected for the this fellowship yeah. <clears throat> as usual I kept my hopes high and uh, during that period, I contacted the professor again. I talked with him that this is a whole story happened. I don't know why I got selected. But yeah, he told me, you don't have to worry. I have many fellowships. And he called me with the Tianjin Government Fellowship. It's mm -hmm. a local fellowship. It's almost same like a China uh, Scholarship Council Fellowship. And uh, I came here and eventually, I choose my professor, not the university. Yeah. But yeah, uh, as, I, as uh, I came here, I came to know about this university as well. This university is also very fabulous university, very good university, very big, many facilities, many opportunities. I just love this university right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you said a very good uh, uh, word. Uh, professor, it's mean... Uh, sometimes more than university yes, yes. of course if, uh, sure. good professors he can do a lot of work yes, yes, maybe yes. in the good universities not so uh, high level professor uh, it might be a, a weak team, yeah. scientific team and uh, thank you so and, I uh, chose my boss instead of choosing yeah, the yeah, university yeah. or the company you can see yeah. and uh, how about uh, Young who studied a bachelor's degree in India, uh, students, if they interested to do their uh, scientific work in the China, can you can they 
uh, go to you directly and ask the questions how to apply, how to, and uh, your, can you give advice? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, there are many opportunities uh, for the Indian people, for the Indian students. Uh, you all will be fortunate to know that uh, I have gone through this all the procedures and uh, I know many ways, many fellowships, how they flow, how the procedure is actually. Uh, there are many uh, different ways, uh, such as the first way is the applying into the government of India. There is a website called mhrd.gov.in. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, I will give you the uh, link in, mm -hmm. and you can just yeah, give yeah, it in the description. And, uh, you can uh, find it in the link. Yeah, yeah, you we can. Uh, put, we yeah. we yeah. will put the links in the description. You can go through the links. Uh, uh, when you will go through the links, you will find all the options there. And if you have any further question, you can just ask in the comment section and uh, we will reply you, not a problem. Yeah. yeah so uh, there are different websites. First of all, what you have to do is uh, your academic has to be very strong, mm -hmm. such as the bachelor degree and the master's degree. When you have your bachelor and master, and especially in the master's, at least you should have some paper, like a research article. A small research article is also okay there is a no problem for that too if you have a small research article when you are uh, doing your masters that time uh, that how it will help you is like when you apply for different different fellowships mm -hmm. and uh, you will go to the different professors you will write to them how uh, what you have done this is my academic this is my research the most important the foreigner foreign uh, scientists or foreign professors seek the information about you is uh, what your research background actually is. The research background matters a lot. Uh, if you have a small one paper, that is also okay for them to prove mm -hmm. that you have already done yeah, some yeah, kind yeah, of research. Yeah. And uh, with this procedure, you have to apply to different, you have to ask to different, different professor, different university professors and uh, go through the, ask them if they have a fellowship, they will give you the fellowships. If, you, if they don't give fellowship, you can directly go through the government portals. There are many websites and uh, as, I, as we talked before, we will, uh, ask, we will give it into the link. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you started very good uh, uh, <coughs> question about publications uh, that I wanted to ask and uh, that uh, I can ask about you, uh, from you. Nowadays publications, what are you, how you, which journals are you publishing and uh, how publishing and uh, your level of publishing journals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I came here 2016 and uh, 2016 to 2018 I was going through my experiments. Mm -hmm. I did my experiments. Uh, the work which I used to do in India, I completely stopped that work and I started with the new methods and new technologies, started using new technologies. And when you use new technologies, you need a little time to go grow up, to, to analyze the stuff, to analyze the data. So this procedure took a little time and uh, fortunately uh, my first paper is under review and uh, soon it will be published uh, within one month or one and a half month. Uh, that means within three years, I have my first paper and that too in the frontiers of microbiology. It's a frontiers mm -hmm. group and the frontiers in microbiology is a very good journal. It's around having a four impact factor. Four in, yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. And oceanography is a, such a field, such a mm -hmm. rare field that uh, there are no so many high uh, impact factor journals yeah, which yeah. is specialized for the oceanography. The most highest journal which I know is Limnology and Oceanography. It's having impact factor around 4.5 and um, uh, what I am going to publish is in the 4. And uh, yeah, there are uh, many other papers uh, upcoming. I'm uh, finishing my second paper and there are third paper as well I'm going to finish. Of course, I have some co-authors paper published in a very, very good journals uh, such as Scientific Reports, Microbial Ecology, very good journals. A top journals. Yeah, and uh, how about the payments? Uh, did you know how much uh, need to pay authors? And now in here, in our laboratory also, <coughs> uh, 
our professors uh, paying from projects. But their power pay payment, uh, we uh, give it last article, it was uh, 1,600 uh, US dollars. And uh, some of them are the 400, 600, if you know. Can you say about uh, uh, how much cost published one article? Because uh, some people from Central Asia are asking me to publish their data in such kind of journals. And uh, I, I can say about uh, him, about the payment, how much you need to pay. Yeah, uh, specifically going through the payment option. Uh, yeah, I can understand the early researchers or the researcher which are uh, just uh, started their career as a scientist and do not have many projects. Yeah. It's for them, it's kind of difficult to difficult, publish in yeah. a good journal. Why do I mean, why difficult to publish in a good journal is just because the fees are very high. The publication fee is very high. Yeah. Such as uh, I told you that uh, I was, uh, I just, uh, I mean, uh, my first paper is under review in the Frontiers in Microbiology. It is having around 2,000 US dollar, the fees, publication fees. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a lot. So yeah. it's a very huge yeah. amount for yeah. the countries uh, which are just developing countries. Yeah. Even it's for, for India, it's a it's little high. Yeah, well, for some because also yeah, high, it's 2,000. It's, it's kind of yeah. very high. But yeah, in, in China, if you particularly look out the research uh, section of the China, uh, right now, China has uh, second number in the world for the publication number. Last year, the data was published uh, that was the USA was the first and the, uh, China is the second for the publication of the number of the publications. That means, what that means is China is putting a lot of money into the scientific yeah, research. Yeah, yeah. When the scientific research is, they are going to put more money, that means the professors will have many, many projects and the huge amount of uh, the money will be very high in the projects. So my professor as well paid the money from, for this kind of publications from the, the, his projects. He has a very big projects. With yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think uh, it's a short uh, interview. It's, uh, we can do a... Uh, Finishing, and uh, you can say your green things to your friends. Yeah, maybe they will uh, watch us. <laughs> uh, keep watching um, uh, Murad's videos. Uh, he will be posting many, many scientific research related people's interview. And uh, believe me, he's a very good uh, uh, communication uh, planner. I mean, uh, he does a lot of this kind of stuff, and. Uh, he motivated me too for this uh, video, so I'm thank you for him thank too you, thank you, thank uh, for such opportunity that people will get enlightened about the things. Uh, and yes, uh, we will post the, the the links for the Indian students, uh, the early uh, students, uh, early career students like bachelor's, masters, and the links we will provide to you how and where you can apply. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming and uh, I have a, a little bit of word for Indian scientists. Why, why I respect Indian scientists? Because Indian scientists is everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, you can see in the Europe, in America, and the very high level laboratories, in a very high level scientific teams around the world have uh, Indian members, Indian doctors, Indian professors that I respect a lot. Uh, Thank you. I hope uh, countries uh, in Central Asia also will uh, improve their knowledge and uh, they will go to the international level. And uh, in future, I, I also hope from Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, so such kind of uh, uh, countries, scientists were in the, such kind of around the world and uh, do, do their scientific works internationally. And uh, thank you for coming again. Thank you very much. Uh, and all the best much. for your all the brothers and sisters in the country and the Central Asia. I hope they will grow a very uh, potentially good people in the research field or any other field. I wish all them best luck. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank That's you. That's great. Now stay. <laughs>